Hello there, it's that time of day again and uh, it's good to be with you. Today uh, we've had two deliveries at the Vicarage. Um, uh, one was something that we'd ordered and one was a really lovely surprise that somebody left on the doorstep. Um, we're okay with parcels uh, coming on the doorstep uh, if they're little like, uh, like the gift was because nobody can see those from the road. But the second thing that came was uh, a new Hoover, a new vacuum cleaner, and it came in uh, a one meter 20 high box, which I guess is about four foot high. Um, and um, the delivery driver, as they do at the moment, they uh, deposit your parcel on the doorstep, uh, bang on the door if you're lucky, and then run away. And um, uh, I uh, heard the door uh, the door knocker go and went out and there was this parcel stood upright right on the edge of the porch great big parcel box right for everybody to see and I was like oh you've got to be kidding me uh, that, that's absolutely no use whatsoever what if uh, you know Somebody had been walking past and they thought, oh, hello, hello, I quite like the idea of that parcel. I shall just wander in one end of the Vicarage Drive, pick up the parcel and wander out the other with it. Uh, we'd have been a bit fed up. You'd have thought they'd have laid it down or tucked it round or put it by the car or something. But no, no. Everybody could have seen it and anybody could have taken it. Let me read to you from Mark chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Then Jesus said to them, Do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let them hear. What's Jesus talking about, about this uh, hidden lamp? And uh, what's he then going on to say that uh, everything will be um, brought out into the open? Well, we know in Mark's gospel uh, that, that uh, uh, when Mark talks about Jesus doing what he has to do and the mission of Jesus, uh, it's known as the Mark and Secret because uh, more in Mark than anywhere else, when Jesus does something amazing and miraculous, he says to people, but don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. If he heals somebody or if he uh, does something incredible, uh, he always says to them, now don't tell anybody. And it seems a bit of an odd thing, doesn't it? Uh, because uh, surely, and what we see in those stories is that people who've been healed go around telling everybody. Well, wouldn't you just? The thing is, though, what Mark's trying to tell us is that Jesus's job, Jesus's task, Jesus's mission is so much bigger than individual healings of individual people in an individual city at an individual time. Jesus's mission is to go on to Jerusalem to be crucified and then to rise from the dead, having conquered death and won for us our salvation. Jesus doesn't want anything to interfere with that. He doesn't want to get waylaid. He doesn't want to have his mission interfered with so that uh, it doesn't happen in the way it has to happen. And so he says to people, yeah, that what, what I did to you was great, but that's really not what I'm here for. There's more to happen. The trouble is, though, that we at times take that whole secret thing, that hiding thing, to a level uh, that God didn't imagine would happen after the resurrection. We still hide uh, Jesus from people. Uh, we don't uh, tell people that we are, are Christians. We don't talk about our experience with God, our frustrations as well as our delights. We, we hide it. We, we wish that God hadn't left it so obviously on our doorstep and so we move it and we, we wish the delivery of the Holy Spirit would be a bit more hidden and a bit quieter and a bit uh, away from people's prying eyes. Because you see, if people do see Jesus, they want him. 
They want to pick him up. They want to take him. They want to own him. They want him for themselves. And that's what Jesus is saying in this passage when he says, you know, in the end, what will happen is uh, the hiddenness about the Messiah, the hiddenness about my mission will suddenly become visible. What I've tried to uh, keep quiet for all the time that I've been waiting for uh, Jerusalem and crucifixion and resurrection. On the day of resurrection, it'll become clear. It'll become visible. Everybody will need to know about it. And that's certainly what happens at Pentecost as the disciples are given the Holy Spirit and they go out and tell people about Jesus. And they do miracles and they do wonderful things and the church begins. We have to be really careful that we don't try and hide Jesus and the Holy Spirit as it's delivered to us. We want people to see it. We want people to come close. We want people to say, I'll have that. I want what you've got. Let's not hide Jesus. Let's not uh, fall into uh, that pattern of Mark where Jesus has other things and bigger things to do and so we keep quiet about the small things. Now is the time to speak out about the big things, to wave them about, to put them on our doorstep, the doorstep of our lives, so everyone can see them. Let those who have ears hear. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, we want to thank you that you have delivered to the doorstep of our hearts the most incredible gift that is so attractive when it's seen and experienced. We pray, Lord, that we would never ask you to hide that as you give us more of your Holy Spirit, that we would never be people who would uh, uh, want it you know, behind a bush or under the car or over the back gate or somewhere in the back of our lives, but Lord, right on our front doorstep so that everyone who walks past us can see. Lord, whether we're at work or whether we're at home, whether we're going to school or whether we're on the bus or whether we're in the queue for Sainsbury's or the post office or whether we're talking to family and friends on Zoom or whether we're in a meeting or whatever it might be, we pray, Lord Jesus, tonight that that gift of the Holy Spirit and that gift of Jesus that you have given us would be right there on the doorstep of our hearts for everyone to see and pick up for themselves. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Now let's go share the Lord with one another. Good night.